The reason they want to shut us down is because we've got their number. We know the globalist plan. We've read their books. We've read their white papers. We know how their operations are carried out. And they thought you were so stupid and the public was so dumb, they'd have a private corporate world government, tax-exempt, with diplomatic immunity, backed up by the communist Chinese that killed over 80 million people, they say. The CIA says it's 65 million. I don't know. The Chinese government says 80-plus million died under the communist revolution of Mao, the Great Leap Forward, the Cultural Revolution. And then I just walk all over Austin and see UT students with Mao Zedong shirts on, and they're not joking around like wearing an old Russian shirt or something. You know, this is CCP or whatever. And they're into it, and they love it, and they got tattoos of it, and they got smartphones and $100, $200 skinny jeans, and they're getting in nice cars their parents are paid for. And you go, this doesn't ideologically make any sense. Yeah, it does. They want power, and they want to direct everybody, and they want to kill the Midwest. They don't want to just uh, reorganize things. They want a giant bloodletting. It's their religion. They hate flyover country. They hate bitter clingers. Hillary hates you. They all hate you. It's in the WikiLeaks. If you're black, if you're white, if you're Hispanic, if you're Asian, if you're a Christian, if you're a conservative, if you are self-sufficient, if you are not a Satanist, if you are not mentally ill, they want to put you in a forced labor camp and watch you starve to death because it makes them feel powerful. They want to rape your wife. They want, just like in East Germany, if you want to be in the theater or be involved, you've got to have sex with the party officials. They want to be able to kill and rape whoever they want. They want authoritarianism to carry out criminal operations and the raping of your children. Their religion is pedophilia and torturing people to death and starving you to death and murdering you. It's why their God helped round up Nazis when he was 14, 15, 16 for his stepfather and helped round up thousands and told 60 Minutes it was the best time of his life and he would do it over again and he's not ashamed. If somebody else didn't do it, he would have done it. And by the way, I've said this and I love everybody. <clears throat> but when we put together two different compilations of that video from that transmission that I've aired before, that they try to take down, we didn't put it out with the parts where he said it was the best time of his life. So I want another version of that that I'm gonna air today. If, if it doesn't matter what happens, it's gonna air. In fact, I'll just air the whole thing. That, in fact, just get me the entire 60 minutes. That's what I'll do, I'll air the whole 12 minute segment. I will not be stopped. I'm gonna stop that Nazi piece of crap. And you're gonna stop him. And he hates our guts, well, we're coming for you, you got it? But that's who they worship, you understand? He's their God because he's a killer. They love it. They think it's sharp. They think it's sexy. I've read about they worship Zbigniew Brzezinski because he manipulated the Khmer Rouge into killing millions. And they just think the more people you've killed, the more power you've got. Like, I'm gonna go to rebroadcast and go get that clip myself. That's the answer, just gotta take action. What it's all about. Get out of the coma.